So with your chrome yellow, we are going to add those flower petals. I'm going to start with the largest circle on the left here. You're going to use the side of your oil pastel and just add these beautiful curve lines curving all the way around. Once you get to the leaf here, you're just going to make a few small ones, right? Um, overlapping the leaf. And another thing that you can do is as you're working, you can rotate your paper and that way it'll help you to, you know, get a better handle on those areas that you're using. So since the um, yellow is layered on top of that background wallpaper color, we are going to layer um, another lighter color on top. But for now, I'm just doing tons of curved lines all around my sunflower to create those um, petal shapes. Uh, this one right here only has a few petals that are, you know, near the top part of the um, sunflower shape. And then the one up here has a lot. So this one is gonna be really vibrant and bright. So you're gonna go from the outer edge of the brown and you're going to do curved lines curving all the way around. And you know, don't worry about doing them the exact same as me. For this one, it's less about the lines and more about the texture. So the texture that we can get from building the oil pastel colors um, up in layers just like I said in the beginning it's kind of like you know the thickness of icing on a cake so again that is um, impasto that's the technique that we're doing and then while we still have this bright yellow color we also want to bring it down to the bottom so there's a few marks of this yellow kind of sprinkles into the the tabletop so you can just go to town with it okay and then um Lastly, we do want to add some of this yellow on top of this olive green color. So you're just going to fill in some different curved shapes here just to bring some brighter color into the leaves. Same with this leaf up here. So great um, use of color mixing in, in this um, piece here. And again, you know, you're going to get it a little bit dirty. That's fine. That's part of the process. So I have my scrap paper here and you can just wipe off the um, edges to get all of those uh, different colors off the top of your oil pastel. Definitely do this before you put it back or else you might forget. And when you go to grab this color, you're going to be shocked when you don't get the color that you were um, hoping for. Okay. All right, so uh, moving on, we need to bring some brightness back into the piece. So I'm going to go back into my white and using the white, especially on um, these flower petals, I'm going to layer the white right on top. And you'll see that when you mix the white with the yellow, you're gonna get this brighter palette. So we're just gonna do that for the flower petals to bring back some brightness so we are building it up in layers and this is very similar to how you paint with color so again like i said before color is um, really big in painting and um, line work is really big for drawing so this is more of a color exercise uh, and the last step is if you wanted to move back and forth between um, the yellow and the white so you can really brighten up those flower petals you can choose to do that okay 
Oh, and the final step, you will need uh, a deeper green because we're going to use that to do um, a few leaves on the top of coming off the left side of this uh, sunflower for the stem and then just for some contrast um, shadow work. So uh, yeah, if you have this green, if you're working with the same oil pastels, this one's called deep green. So you're going to start out just with um, the edge of it and you're going to do a curve line curving down. This is going to be stem. And then I'm going to do two curve lines. So from the left side curving over here to the left and then right under it curving to connect. Go ahead and fill that in. That's one leaf deeper green leaf. He has another one coming off the side here, so two more curved lines. Fill that in. And then I'm just going to do a few more little areas of the deep green, so this little triangular shape here peeking out behind this bigger flower. A tiny bit on the right side here. There's a bit of a shadow touching the bottom side of this flower coming into our pot. And then lastly, a shadow just touching the line between the pot and the table. Final area is you can do a line just on the top edge of the table, run it, um, you want to hop over the pot. And then if you did want to blend some colors a little bit more, you can try this out. Um, we have uh, oils, natural oils in our fingers, and so it um, works to blend the oil pastel. And so if you use your finger, you wanna hold your, your uh, drawing, and you use your finger, then again, you can start to blend some of those colors, soften the edges if you'd like to. That's another effect you can do, and just get some more colors mixing together. It is gonna change the color of your finger, that's fine. Like I said, just uh, don't touch your clothes. Go ahead and wash your hands at the end of this. And that's it for our Van Gogh drawing. So tribute to one of the most famous, influential artists of all of time. And um, I hope you guys really enjoyed building up the texture and working with color mixing in this lesson. Look forward to um, seeing your uh, work once it's finished.